Hey guys, Robbie here with another Divi Engine quick tip for you. In today's Divi Engine quick tip, we're going to be taking a look at links. If they were stored in an ACF custom field, we want to see how we can display them in different ways on the front end of your Divi sites using Divi Machine and the ACF item module. Let's go take a look at how to do that right now. Okay, so we've got this layout here, which is a real estate layout that we made that you can even go play with if you go to the Divi Machine product page, which will be linked in the description of this video. It looks pretty good, but there's one thing that we don't love right here, and it's the way that this link looks like for the floor plan. Now, all this is really is if I come here to the back end of my site, I've got my houses, custom fields right here, and right at the bottom, I've got a floor plan link with the type of URL. Now you can have this be a download. So maybe this could be an album post type and it could be all the different songs that are associated. I don't know, that's up to you. But all we would need to do to go ahead and turn this text that's over here into maybe something like this, that's a button. Or maybe you just want some different text. Maybe you want it to be a different ACF field to dictate. Maybe you want the address to be over there and be the link. We're gonna look at how to do that right now. So all we're gonna need to do is be in the back end of our Divi site and wherever we've got this layout, be it a Divi library layout or whether it's something you built in the theme builder. Now I'm working in the theme builder here and you can see that I've got all houses template here for all the house post types that I've created. I'm gonna edit that. And then once I'm in here, I'm gonna switch it to the module view. So I find that a little easier with all the data that loads in on this page. Now I know that this is that floor plan, this field right here. And I can see that your floor plan link right there. That is this field right here where we want to go ahead and change the text. Now, first we're gonna change it to be another ACF field. So we're gonna go down here, everything's linked up already, and we're gonna go to specific settings. Now in here, you have a ton of different options as to how it interacts with the link or the URL. We are gonna go ahead and scroll down to the part where it says, link URL set name as another ACF field. We're gonna flip that to yes. And then all we need to do is go and select the ACF field. So when we click the drop down, it opens up all of our fields. And here we've got the floor plan link. That's of course not the one we want. We want the location of the house. So I'm gonna go select that and then I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna hit save again. And now on the front end here, we'll refresh the page. And there you go. Now you've got the address of the property as the link for the floor plan. Now you can use any other field. You can have a field specific that can be set while the user is setting up the post, but that is the one way. Now let's look at how we would change this over to a button instead. So we're gonna go back to the theme builder here and on the layout where you've got all your ACF item modules. I'm gonna open up that module again and we are gonna scroll down to specific settings. And we're gonna say, well, let's make this file link email phone field into a button. Because of course, if you have a phone number and stuff there, you might wanna be able to click on it to call. But we're gonna enable that. We're gonna scroll down a bit further again. Now we'll unset this link URL set name as another field. And we'll just put the text on the button and then we'll just say view floor plan, maybe. Save that. We're gonna go ahead and save that. And then we'll hop back on the front end and let's refresh this page one more time. And bam, there you've got it. Now you can go ahead and click on it. It'll open up the floor plan. And of course, I just linked to this Wikipedia article, but you can link to whatever or any download you want to. It's a really great feature in Divi Machine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip on how to utilize the ACF item module to change the text of a link in Divi Machine and Divi. And that is gonna help you make better sites more bespoke for your clients. So guys, that was me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next quick tip real soon.